All right, here's my demo of the second version of my Presence app I'm doing for the uh, Stanford iTunes course. I start it up here. There we go. And so I changed the the tint of the navigation bar to uh, more of a Twitter color, just because in table views it's hard to make anything other than a white cell uh, look good. You can do a lot of stuff, but it's not usually worth the trouble I found. Uh, this is downloading real uh, information for Steve Wozniak, Shaq, and William Shatner just because those were the three usernames in my P list. And uh, yeah, it's going to Twitter uh, using JSON and some helper files that were provided in the course and getting their status updates. So this is the main table view um, that displays the users and their latest twit. It'll have the uh, or tweet, I guess. It, it'll have it underneath their name and then their uh, profile picture there. A um, couple things, like it's table view, so it, it's working right now. Um, there's an edit button here. That's a typical edit bar button item. So if you click it, you'll get the delete uh, thing here. And then if you click there, it'll make the delete button come up here and you can... Oops, I didn't click that. I gotta... All right, and so you can delete users off the name, and then when you're done, you just click done, and then it goes back to normal. Um, so if I click on a user, it'll load up their tweets, and then uh, it's hard to see here, but it's using a uh, group table view, and uh, it has a profile pick up the top, and the status updates, and then it's just a table view of all their tweets. Um, it's pretty chunky right now because I'm not using, um, I'm not reusing the cells because they're all different sizes. So it's uh, just auto releasing custom height cells. So I'm going to have to find a way to make that a bit smoother. It uh, could be a lot better. Uh, the other thing is there's a little timestamp. It's hard to see um, the timestamp for the tweet. It's in blue there above the message. And then. Uh, the name of the person you clicked on is the uh, navigation bar title. So you just click back and it takes you back to the main list and yeah this is Presence 2. It's just using uh, real data from Twitter um, to to populate the table views and yeah it's pretty cool. A uh, lot of stuff to do yet. Uh, I have a navigation from the, from the previous version uh, a view controller that has username entry uh, it doesn't do anything right now. I still have to work on using uh, delegate to get the newly created person, once it's populated with information, back to the people list view controller. In order to uh, once I um, once I get that going, then I can save out the list of usernames, and then that way it'll uh, save whenever you, it'll save the new people that you add and so on. Um, Pretty funny, actually. I when I was developing, I was using real Twitter data the whole time, and I got rate limited. So, uh, just getting used to the whole Twitter thing. It's uh, <laughs> it's been pretty fun. Uh, yeah. So, a lot of stuff yet to do, like I said. But this is the second version, and uh, once I get saving the data using archiving, I'm gonna have to implement the coding protocol on my person objects so I can uh, archive them out. Um, quite a bit of stuff left to do but uh, I'm looking forward to it so yeah this is my presence uh, 2 I guess I could call it uh, version and uh, yeah so here it is